Michelle Riccotti was paralyzed in a motorcycle accident five years ago. His spinal cord was completely severed. But doctors in Switzerland helped him walk again with an electrical implant surgically attached to his spine. Using a remote control, the device sends signals to activate his leg muscles. I stand up, I walk uh, where I want, alone. I can do the stairs. Researchers say it's the first time someone this injured has been able to walk again. This is not the cure for spinal cord injury, but it is a critical step to improve people's quality of life. David Imsey was one of the first patients to receive the implant after being paralyzed in a gymnastics accident. Here he is trying it out nearly five years ago. Two, three. He's made huge strides since then. Ready, set, go. At his home in Zurich, he's now a father, racing with his one-year-old daughter, Zoe. It's the first time I've been walking with her in, in that way. She with a baby walker, I with my walker. Oh, you're too fast, Zoe, wait for me. She even beats me without the walker, so it's a bit embarrassing. Nico, it looks like it works. The technology isn't designed to help people walk in their everyday lives. It's practice to exercise their muscles. We are going to empower them with the ability to stand, maybe to make some step. So far, nine people have had success in trials, and scientists say the implant seems to help repair damaged nerves. Even with the implant turned off, Imsi can go kite surfing by making slight movements with his feet. Tina Krause, CBS News.